Okay, everybody, thanks for watching. This is going to be my long-term review of the Balvenie Single Barrel 12. Let's go ahead and recap. On the first video, I remember when I first opened it, I liked it. I was like, okay, it definitely was not as uh, as oaky. And I remember uh, the double wood I liked. I just think when they said double wood, like I said in that video, they meant it. Like, you're going to get that wood. It was, I think, very... Very good. Still highly recommended. I just think the the wood influence kind of overpowered the vanilla and stuff that was in there. But I still I still liked it. So what I was looking for on this one is something that was going to be not as wood forward, at least to begin with. And it was. So when I first opened it, it was good. I was like, OK, not as oak forward. I'm getting a lot of that vanilla. But I was kind of like waiting for it to turn into something really great because the regular Balvenie double wood, I think you can get maybe even at Costco for like maybe 70 bucks. And I think this was like around 120. So I was like, OK, you know, I'm, I'm expecting this to be a lot better. But it just never really happened. It just never really happened. And I drunk through it. I was like, OK, yeah, it's good. Good. I mean, it just wasn't really it didn't really blow me away. When I see a single barrel special release type of deal, I'm just expecting a lot. And I thought that it was just good, not great. So would I recommend it? Yes, I would recommend it. But I wouldn't recommend it to like someone new to Scotch. Because I think if someone new to Scotch had this, this single barrel, and this is one of 300, they might say, oh, this is what $120 Scotch tastes like. I'm never getting that again. And I don't think this is really representative of that. Because I've had Scotches that were less than that, less than this, that were better. Uh, I think this is for a person who's like going through the whole Balvenie range like I am also because, like I said, I'm a fan of Balvenie. I like how I like how they're spending money on their brand ambassadors and everything else. So I don't regret buying it. I was just underwhelmed by this particular release. I think if you see it somewhere, you know, you have a shot to, to, to have it at a bar, try it. I think it's worth a try, even side by side. I think you do get a little bit something different in here for for the, the special release, but I think just not enough to really justify the price increase to me. But that's what I think. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment. I'll see you on the next video. Dark Spirits, thanks for watching. Salute everybody. I'm out.